So on this approach, we're going into Da Nang and a few interesting things happen. So let's have a look at it. So at the moment we are descending, passing flight level 280 almost, uh, clear to flight level 240, speed is managed for the descent and so far so good. Uh, for the distance, okay, we are we have many track miles to go, so we cannot do a profile calculation, we'll just let the FMS uh, manage the uh, descent. Okay, let's skip ahead a bit and see what happens next. So as we approached uh, the airport here, ATC told us that uh, we should expect a, a shortcut from Dalton to Tamla. Now that's good that they uh, notify us, that's not always the case, and that should make everything very easy. But of course things are never easy in aviation, so a few things happened here. Um, the, the thing is, is like if ATC tells you you will get a shortcut uh, and they will tell you exactly from where to where, you, you know your track miles. You can see that uh, either on the chart or on the FMS. So if they tell you from Dalton to Tamla, then the, the leg from Dalton to Traco and Tamla to Karas, these two, they will be removed. So you have to check the, either the chart or the FMS how many miles that is. So we uh, know that this is uh, 10 miles from Dalton to Traco, so 10 miles times two for the other side, so that's 20 miles. So if we get our shortcut, then we know that we will be, uh, the, the amount of track miles will be cut 20 miles short. Now, if you, if you know this in advance, you have to do a little bit of uh, maths to, so to see if you, can, if you can do that and if that adds up with the altitude. Because you can see here that at Dalton, there is an altitude restriction. You have to be, you have to be above, uh, let's round it up, 6,100 feet or let's make it 6,000 feet for, uh, for easy uh, calculation. So if you, uh, you, you have to check how many miles you have uh, to, from Dalton to the threshold. And uh, this is, if you, if you, again, you can look at the chart or, or um, you can just sub subtract 20 miles from the, um, from the distance here. There's several ways to do that. But if you, if you have uh, 20 miles uh, from, from Dalton and you do the, the profile calculation, then you should see if you can do that or not. So, okay, let's do that. So uh, 20 miles times three. So that's 6,000 feet. Now you can already see that 6,000 feet is the altitude limitation at Dalton. So that means that you have to be at the very least at S speed there. Um, so now, okay, no problem. We, 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 can, we can do that. So uh, let's, let's see what happens. Okay, we are uh, approaching our uh, point of uh, shortcut here. The speed, uh, because of a restriction on the approach here, 227, okay, so the speed is a bit on the low side. And um, uh, at the moment, uh, it, a trap is to use the wrong distance to, calcul to calculate your profile. If you, if you would use uh, 50 miles, then you would say, oh, I'm way below profile, uh, no problem. But um, that is not quite the case. So. Here we are approaching Dotan and ATC told us, uh, okay, after Dotan, uh, direct Tamla. Okay, good. So we put this in the FMS, after Dotan, uh, direct Tamla. And now we get our actual distance. So we can check again. Okay, so at the moment it's uh, 27 miles. So let's let's do a calculation for uh, 20 miles. Uh, no, let, let's take 25 miles to make it a bit more accurate. Um, so first we do 20, 20 miles to make it easy, so times 3, so that's 6,000 feet. And let's assume we are at uh, green knot speed, we're not quite, but just to make the calculation a bit easier. So uh, 6,000 feet minus 1,000 feet to slow down is uh, 5,000 feet, So, uh, but we calculating for 25 miles, so that's uh, 1,500 feet for the extra uh, 5 miles, um, so 5,000 plus uh, uh, 1,500 feet is uh, 6,500 feet. And we should, so 25 miles, we should be at 6,500 feet. So we are on profile. So far, so good. We're not quite there yet. Uh, 26 miles, so we can see 25 miles. Okay, so almost exactly on profile. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Now, of course, we know that we can't descend after Dotton, so that's a clue uh, of something to pay attention to. And um, so next altitude calculation we do is a 20 miles. Uh, so it looks like it added up with our um, uh, estimation of uh, 20 miles from Dotton to the 
to the to the threshold. So 20 miles times three is 6,000 feet minus 1,000 feet to slow down because we are at green dot. So that's uh, 5,000 uh, uh, feet. Now, we can't uh, do that because we can only fly at 6,000 feet, not at 5,000 feet. Now, if you need to uh, descend but you can't, you need to slow down. So we should apply a flap here. And that's not done. So you can see there's uh, no flap. Okay, so we will end up high then in that case. So around the corner, uh, towards Tamla. So here is 20 miles. You can see we should with this speed you should be at 5,000 feet, but we're not. So we're 1,000 feet too high, just because we didn't slow down at Dotton. Next, we'll, next calculation will be at 15 miles. Just remember that 15 miles is 4,500 feet, but that's assuming that you're on the glide slope, so you need to have some flap, which we don't at the moment. Um, so at 4,500 feet uh, with uh, this speed. Um, I'm sorry, at the 15 miles with this speed, uh, we should be at the 3,500 feet. So 4,500 feet minus 1,000 feet to slow down, slow down 3,500 feet. Now you can already see that's not going to happen. Uh, we are at 18 miles now and uh, 3,500 feet is not even close. So uh, we're still um, high on energy. Now if you're high on energy, you need to apply drag. And the only way to do that at the moment, well there's several ways, but the best way to do that at the moment is to apply the speed brake. And you can see here, speed brake is not applied. So there's a few things which which um, went wrong here. Okay, now another interesting uh, event here. So ATC told us that uh, we are not yet cleared for the approach. Only after we've passed Tamla, then we are clear for the approach. Something to do with terrain. Okay. No problem, but you can you can see that that might be a bit tight because if you look at the glide slope, uh, we're almost on the localizer, so the glide slope should should be uh, should be valid. Um, that um, we might end up above the glide slope here. So okay, we can see here there's 15 miles. Uh, we are not at uh, 4,500 feet, so we are above profile there still a little bit of headwind though. The weight is 61 or 62 tons, so that's normal. Um, okay, so turning final, we're looking at the glide slope, turning final here, still above the glide slope. Uh, can we up arm the approach now? I, I would, arm the, personally, I would arm the approach right now because, well, we're, we're just, we're Abim Tamla, so uh, good enough for me. But, um, Okay, the first officer didn't do that. Uh, it, uh, let's see, uh, the other thing he does here is goes into vertical speed. That doesn't really make sense at this moment because uh, you're you're approaching your level anyway. I, I guess it's a bit too late. If you, if you want to, uh, before we already saw that we are above profile. Now, if you are above profile, you need to add drag uh, for one. And um, a, a level segment here would be good also. Perhaps it will intercept the glide slope if you're quick enough to arm it. But uh, applying vertical speed so late here, that really doesn't do much. It will go into alt star anyway, and in alt star, then you have no control over the vertical speed anymore. Uh, the, the other thing is that uh, you you don't want to fly the 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 approach of the, the last segment of of um, when, when you're about to turn final here. You don't want to do this in descent mode because you have no control over the vertical speed. If you apply flap, depending if you manage your speed or not, but um, the the vertical speed will, um, will 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 reduce, and you might up uh, above the glide slope. Uh, sometimes you want to force the aircraft uh, on the glide slope, uh, especially in this case. Um, but but in descent mode, you have no control over that, so you, you don't want to do that. You always want to use the vertical speed as you turn final. So that's one other thing. But um, okay, so let's see what happens. So uh, as we turn final here. Um, you can see the, the, you can see already this is trouble because we are we are approaching our uh, uh, cleared altitude here. We are slightly above the glide slope already. This vertical sp increasing the vertical speed doesn't do anything at this moment. Um, it's because even the the the, arm, the approach isn't armed yet. We we definitely passed Tamla now, so you could arm the approach. Of course, it's a lot of workload. You're looking at many things at the same time. And um, I, I understand that, but in your mind, you should already be thinking, okay, I might end up of the, above the glide slope. So what will I do if, if that happens? Okay, so there's Alt Star, and the approach is not armed yet. So um, that okay. So now the approach is armed. 
um, it takes a few seconds. I think it's three seconds for it to actually uh, be able to go into um, uh, lock star or glide stop star mode. But okay, so it goes into lock star mode here and not glide slope. So ah, okay, this is again trouble. We are flying level and alt uh, above the glide slope. It's gonna fly, continue flying there, and it's not gonna intercept it. So at this moment, you should do the glide slope capture from above procedure. But instead, the first officer uh, selects a lower altitude at the uh, VRI, and uh, which is 2,600 feet. A little bit late also to start uh, the descent. Um, okay, so he starts the descent now. Using vertical speed 1,200, also that's not enough. So you should set the altitude above your current altitude and uh, set the vertical speed to at least 1,500 feet a minute, maximum 2,000 feet a minute. The other thing is, if you use vertical speed, you want to make sure that the speed bug is managed. The speed is managed so that the speed bug is below your current speed. So it's if you are high and you want to descend faster, it's either open descent speed up or vertical speed speed down. Because if you use vertical speed and you put the bug higher than your current speed, the aircraft will add thrust. And of course you don't want that when you are above the glide slope because that will make the situation even worse. So if you look at the thrust here, there you go. The thrust increases while you are above the glide slope just because the speed bug is higher than the current speed. So that's not correct either. Okay, so now I see this a lot that people not do the glide slope capture from above procedure and this makes your life so much more difficult. That procedure is really there to help you and you should really do that if uh, you are above the glide slope because otherwise it can go into alt star and then the workload goes through the roof pretty quickly. Okay, so now vertical speed 1500 feet a minute it, it is actually set, so at least that part is correct. Okay, increasing a bit more now. The speed is still not managed though, so that's not correct. And I see uh, when I ask uh, uh, the uh, pilots, well, why didn't you do the glide slope capture from above procedure? The answer I often get, oh, there's no need for that because I can see that we're almost on the glide slope. Yes, we're approaching our, our level here, but I think we will go into glide slope star before that. Well, what are you doing? Why are you stressing when you're thinking, oh, maybe I can make it, maybe not? It's not the correct procedure anyway, and you just make it yourself difficult. You just do the glide slope capture from above procedure and it will all solve all these problems. So anyway, it did go into glide slope star in this case. And um, good. So next we want to uh, configure, could keep configuring. Oh, the other thing I must mention is if you do do the glide slope uh, capture from above above procedure or if you do it not correctly but either way if you're above the glide slope you should really lower the gear because um, if you set a higher vertical speed then the speed will start to run away which you can see here and, and that's not really what you want to do you want to put the gear down to add some more drag to prevent the speed from increasing anyway so uh, next you want to um, lower the gear about here because the speed is on the high side and uh, then you want to put the gear down at about 2500 feet which we then okay so here the gear is down and we start configuring if the speed is high like this you want to uh, not delay selecting flaps you wait until uh, vfv next maybe 10 knots uh, below or so and then keep configuring so there you go uh, you ask for flap uh, three straight away about here don't delay flap three you see it takes a little bit longer and uh, so let me skip ahead a bit. Okay, so that's flap three, and then also don't wait until you blow a VV next flap full. And um, good, so it looks like we're gonna be stable quite easily. Let me skip ahead a bit. Okay, so we're at 1800 feet, and we're fully configured, and we are stable. So we made it in um, without um, too many issues. I uh, hope you uh, learned something, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider buying my book, Practical Descent Energy Management. It contains loads of examples of how to manage a descent and approach, and it is the only book available on this subject. There is a paperback and an ebook version available. You can find a link in the description below.